looking at me. If you go out. my depressed walk <laughs> because because <I laughs> it was like last week we were singing celebration and shit <laughs> and now I'm like why the hell that bitch got to pop up on my screen within two minutes of the show start and I thought we was done with that bitch Alyssa I mean there was her. a lot of shit that went on this week yeah it, it was a lot a that lot. was a it was a good week to, to there's a lot to talk about. It was it definitely was I didn't see the after party, so that I that's, did, but I watched the after party, but it mm, it wasn't there, there wasn't there wasn't anything new. Yeah, you didn't miss nothing. You didn't miss nothing. But so who can you with? believe? The Go ahead, Chris. The Start it. Audacity, audacity of her with her girlfriend saying. Yeah. I try. If if you didn't know anything, if you was the first time you you saw her and you just saw that conversation, you'd be like, "Oh, that guy must be an asshole." Oh my god, you know she really wanted this and the other. She. I is, muted her. Huh? I muted her. I didn't want to hear her. You you, you have to, because she's like a she. I think she really is delusional. I really That's think she. I really is. think she has something. Her perspective of what she did, or you know, she's like, yeah, you know, it wasn't my choice. He broke it off, and I love the fact that. They, thank God for the show. Let's give a shout out to the show for saying, you know, you know, I tried talking to him. I don't want to talk to him. Get him away from me, you know. And I wanted him to be, you know, I, I tried. The I, tried. I, no, I don't want to talk to him anymore. I hate him. Thank you for at least giving us the honest account. That we can see for ourselves that she's full of shit. Oh, then maybe I have to go back and watch that part because literally I muted it and I was playing a game on my phone. Girl, like, they I'm pulled done. out all the receipts for her ass. And on top of that, In her friend kind of was, you know, her friend was like, well, I wish I was there because her friend was out of the country mm -hmm. during the wedding. And she was like, well, I wish I was there. And, you know, her fr that's her friend. So as mm -hmm. your friend, it's like, okay, I'm going to listen. I'm going to believe you. But her friend did say to her, well, you know, I was just kind of, you know, because you can, you tend to kind of be like, kind of closed off or difficult or, you know, give, I'm, I'm the one saying to you, you might want to give him a chance. She's like, so I wish I'd have met him. I wish I'd I wish I'd have met him so I could see. But because mm -hmm. you know, she's like, well, you know, I I tried with him, and she's like, oh well. I mean, you are kind of harsh on people. You know, you're all, you know, kind of hard on people. So yeah. her even her friend knows that. She's like, no, mm -hmm. I'm not. She's like, yes, you are. Oh my god, she's she's just awful. And while we're still on them, because I just want to get over them already. Yes. I I mean, they, when they showed up at the bowling alley, of course, I I should have known better that Barrett at first sight was, they weren't going to let them just leave and be done after last week. And of course they had to show up and tell the couple, the other couples that they were going to be divorced. I have to say, Chris, is looking more and more attractive to me every time he produces himself on screen because he is just sitting there like a player player like you want to you want to tell it or do you want me to tell it and he's she's like you can and i'm just like bitch he gave you an opportunity to you know speak your piece and he just put it out there and then what does she do she does the well and 
And he's still respectful, though. I have to be like, I would be, I would be like, I would be like, fuck you, fuck you, bitch. I would have, yep, I would have said that, and I would have dropped the mic, and I would have left. I there would have been no way I would have stayed and played bowling with them. I would have been like, where do we're getting this for? I'm out. Have a nice night, y'all. But I'm gone. And then she starts crying about she starts crying. They're crying. She was oh, yeah. crying bowling I did, those they those tried, they tears. tried the best. The white women in their team. Tears, she, she, she's, doing the, she's doing the, I tried my best. But I loved when the, the producers panned out to all the couples and they're all like. Oh, like, what, what, what the fuck? One thing I want to say about Alyssa and her being delusional. I think it's pretty clear. We know politically where she lands. Yes. And she's very, very typical Republican. They create a narrative that is untrue to the actual reality, the way they want to fit it. I mean, I think that's very clear how how she operates. They yeah, how she operates and how they operate. Yep. I don't know about her friend, but you know, or, or, or whatever, but she really creates a narrative. And her even saying all the time. I'm a good person. They all say, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian right. woman. I'm a godly person. Yeah, okay. So she falls right in line. She's a pathological liar. She's crazy. She's insane. And I hope if I ever see her, I can just like trip her. Oops, well, bad. hopefully we don't ever have to see okay. her. We don't, hopefully we never have to run her, run into her in these streets, Shahida, because she Texas is very is clear that she was packing her bags and moving to Texas. So you know what? She, we can't claim her no way anyway, because she ain't, she is not from Massachusetts and not from Boston. She is from the Midwest, I think. And she can take her happy, crusty ass over to Texas and find her cowboy that she's looking for. With, with the eagle under, tattoo. She can go right down there with MAGA country and find herself a little old MAGA man right down there. Maybe with her eye and hook up. With his eagle tattoo that the psychic said, hey, yes. I don't believe that. I just don't believe anything that she says. I don't believe anything. Oh, but she threw the psychic. She brought the psychic back up. When she Again. said she was moving to Texas, she's like, but she's like, I'm going to pack my bags and move to Texas. But first, I'm going to talk to my psychic first and make sure that, you know, I'm making the right decision or something. Whatever the fuck she pulled out of her ass. And I was just like, see, here goes the thing. You know, I'm not against psychics, but if you're basing all of your life's decisions on your little psychic, you know, tarot card, heifer, you got problems. Big time. Yeah, she got problems. All right. Done with them. Next. But we love you, Chris. Colette, whenever you're ready to come on the show with us, let us know. You know I hit you up on Twitter, so you better respond. So do you want to talk? Who do you want to talk about next? Oh, we are we going to say Lindsay and Mark to the end, or we want to talk about yes, that Lindsay well, and Mark to the end. end. Well, let's That's go to let's go oh, to yeah. um annoying, annoying, annoying. Let's go to annoying and Steve. How old is she? She's twenty well, years old. Why is she acting like a child? A petulant first all, child. First of all, anybody, anybody that says, anybody that says, I want three kids. Not I. Not I would like to have three kids. It's a non-negotiable for me. I have to have three kids, period. Not two. No matter what happens four, in life. Three kids. Oh. Hello. Well, that Go was ahead. fancy. <laughs> that was fancy. But while he's doing that, the fact that you want, you, you're not moving on three kids you don't care. That's a non-negotiable. But you're worried about this man and his employment status. It's mm. it's it's like she's like being hypocritical. It's like don't worry about these children if you're so worried about your man's employment status and being financially stable. Children are, you know, second, third on the priority list. Handle this man with his job and salary. That's why I I hope I put it on Twitter. I am hoping that Steve is sitting on seven figures and he's a wealthy ass man and he just ain't coming up off of it. Well, his his boys aren't, I'm sorry, Shahida. His boys aren't worried about it either. 
they explained to, they explained to her. He's like, oh well, you know, even uh, even Chris in the talk back, she hit it. You didn't see that in the talk back. Chris says, "Yep, I lost my job as a tech something. I was doing something, and COVID laid laid me off. And I did the same thing that 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 um, what's his name, Sam? What's his Steve. name? Steve. 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 He said, I I lost my job, and I lived out of my car for two months and and drove around the Canada and the Northeast." You know, because I had severance and was on the mm-hmm. other end and decided to go into real estate. No, but I said the same thing. I did the same thing when, um, you know, when Goldman closed up offices here. Right. Took some time off. I was I was out of work for, for 10 months. Not, you know, and I was not looking. That's right. I was enjoying my life. So I get it. But I think he needs to still show her a plan because your boys know you. Your family yeah. knows you. She doesn't. And mm-hmm. I know for me, if even if I'm getting up from the bedroom to go to the living room to work, I want to know what, you, you know, what your day is like and, you know, how money is coming in. Now, if he's saying like he's saying like, you know, he can do consulting work. That's a good option. You know, you can get, do consulting work for, for three months that will last you uh, uh, for, for 12 months, you know, so. But she doesn't know him yet. She doesn't know that he has that power to do that. So I get it. But that's a conversation that, you know, you you have as an adult. And I feel that she's holding all that in. And that's why Noodle Gate happened, because it's like a passive aggressive thing with her. Love it. it's, you're not going to get the answer that you want. What, why are you shaking your head? Why are you rolling your eyes? Why are you rolling your eyes? Because she's showing her immaturity. Because here's the thing. No, no one's not saying that she's not mature. I'm right. saying that I'm I saying get how she feels with that, but how she handled everything after was right. absolutely despicable. Oh, that was, yeah, that was despicable. I mean, yeah. I, I don't even think it was a noodle thing. I, I don't think, look, it wasn't about the noodles. Grown ass women know it had nothing to do with the damn noodles. Mm-hmm. It had everything to do with, you know, her insecure. I think she's just an insecure young girl, to be honest with you. I would not worry. She's got her own job. She's got her own career. She makes, I'm assuming she makes a decent amount of money, whatever. I get that you want that security in him having a job. But for, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just speaking for me. He doesn't have to have a solid nine to five going into the office or getting up in the morning and sitting at a computer all day and working and banging out hours of work and making a paycheck. As long as we good, we good. As long as I know that there's on top of my income that you're bringing in some income in. I don't care how you are doing it, whether you're freelancing or you're doing some side hustles or you're going to work at for a major company, what have you, that's great. I don't care. She, and I don't think she would care, but she needs to know these things. Like I said, she just met him. She doesn't know what his earning potential really is. We don't know what his earning potential really we is. We don't know what his earnings are, period. We don't right. know what kind of he's sitting on because he does not look stressed at financially. All. But that doesn't mean that he's rich. That does not, that I know more that people he is broke that either. are not stressed. But her, for her, this is what she needs. That's all That's I'm it. saying. That's what I need. I need to know yeah. things, you know. And if he, if if maybe to ease it, maybe he can just show her his bank statement. This is how much money I have. This is how much is go- going to last. This is around the time that I'm going to start looking for work and do maybe a you know a couple of contracting jobs for give her a plan. Months. Give her a plan. You know, I mean, I I think that's very reasonable, but right. the way, but she's very spoiled, I feel, you know, so yeah. I, 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 she's very spoiled and I feel like, you know, the, her behavior on the three kids, mm. the dog and, 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 and the worst thing that you can do to me is fucking ignore me when I Ghost. call you. Ghost. And when well, I do. Husband- for a, a 24 hours. 20. I so did those are four did. huge red flags. Huge. Did Wait we not? I can't believe. I, I mean, 
at that moment when she put her backpack on, picked up her dog and walked and didn't out. didn't say a word? And he's right. asking her, he's like, where are you going? And she just walks out and she's like, I'm out of here. She whatever she says, I'm out of here, whatever. Well, she said, fuck this shit. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. thank you. And I'm like, and I then, got, I had sorry. a Rachel and Jose moment. Cause I was like, please let's not have another Rachel and Jose moment where this bitch walks out in a tantrum and he's like locks her ass out now we got a whole nother controversy at our hands mm, you, know, you said four things it was four things no what? five the fucking instagram post oh. that's right five things five things. you don't put your shit out there like that like it's okay to say no to so-and-so it's okay if you're not getting what you want you don't do that you don't do that and also i have to say with steve yeah, he may be a little harsh on the noodles or whatever, you know, but what was he? No. Well, I well I think she was just being petty. I think, I think she was being immature and petty because of the fact that she she said, because he he made it clear, she came to him and was like, Well, I'll cook dinner tonight. And yeah. I think that she started cooking dinner. And I think she got a little resentment in her ass as she was cooking the dinner because he was made it very clear he ain't eating them her noodles. He likes his gluten free or whatever the hell kind of noodles he eats, vegan noodles or whatever the hell. And um, I think she got a little resentment because she's like she probably said this motherfucker ain't working, and I'm working. And then I said I offered to cook dinner, and now he wants his special noodles, and I gotta cook it in a separate pot and all this shit. And she purposely let that shit boil over. I'd be a little perturbed too. Don't tell me if we're married or in a relationship or we're in a friendship. Don't tell me you're gonna cook me dinner, and then I make it clear you know that I have some type of restriction, and you still gonna cook me dinner, and then you fuck it up. I got a problem. I don't, I, don't think think she did it I don't think she did it on purpose. I think she did it on purpose. I think she just wasn't paying attention. No, I think she. Well, I think she. I did have it to on give it up to to Steve to a certain point because he's really mature. Of course because he is. He was like he wasn't. He was more hurt than being like fuck that bitch. He was like, look, I'm trying to reach out to you. He's like, I don't even get the opportunity to apologize. Mm -hmm. And he may not even have to apologize, but he's like. You can't, he's like, I'm trying to, we're, we're married now. Yeah. You know, we have to communicate, even if it's hard communication, this and the other, you can't just ghost me like that. And I have no idea where you are. I have no idea where you slept and you're my wife. Even if you went to home and when she came back he, she and she's all like, you know, <laughs> oh man, I was so disappointed with knowing. I was really disappointed with her. It, really. well, I was not really because I feel like she has been building up to this. So it really didn't surprise me, her behavior, because mm -hmm. I could tell that you know, the last few weeks, just the things that she said, and I knew that the, the money thing was going to be an issue for her, but you know, I'm going to take that off the table because it really was more so how she reacted uh, mm -hmm. to criticism from him, you know? Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes, no, it's not good when you think you're doing something good for somebody and they're like, well, you're letting this boil over and you, you know, or whatever. That and does, good. that can be kind of hurtful, you know, criticism or whatever, but what you've never gotten criticized before? No one's ever told you? And on top of the fact, you don't know this person. Like I just met, I just married you like two weeks ago. And I'm, if I'm going to say, I'm going to cook for you and I let something boil over and you do it in a professional manner in a respectable manner, like Steve did, I'd be like, Oh my God, I'm so I I'd, I'd be the apologetic one and be like, you know, how, you know, what I don't, I've never done this. I've never cooked these types of you know how you like to, like it cooked. Show me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to let this boil over. Let's just let's have a do over. She's just immature. I, I'm not really feeling noy at all. No, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I still think that they'll probably work. Um, if she goes but up. she has a lot of. It'll be more him working and in her learning how to compromise, how to. to, to I mean, like, how are your friendships, sis? Because I, I, how do you deal with conflicts in any relationship? That was that was over the top, how she did yeah. that. 
Yeah. And I think, well, obviously next week is a new week, but just off of this week, if they make it, I think the ball is in Steve's court. Like the decision, I'm thinking that she will always say yes to him, like, and stay married. I think, Mm -hmm. I think, I think Steve will probably be the one to control that. Just because I'm, I'm, I don't know. Mm. I just think that's just my thought for now. I I, know. You know what I have a problem with with Noi too, and I, I, I might get ripped up for this one. Go on, girl. Speak your truth. The refugee story. How she says that you know she she was in a refugee camp. Yes, you were, and we respect that. But you were two years old when you came to America. What do you remember? Mm-hmm. from being two because I don't remember shit mm-hmm. I think my earliest memory may have been you know uh, uh, K1 or something like that or my sixth birthday or something. you know not a lot of memories you know under five you know right. okay and I get that and I understand you were poor in America being poor in America is still poor but it's not poor overseas poor and <laughs> Were you Baltimore poor? <laughs> what level of poor? <laughs> Stop right. saying that you are a refugee, you know, a refugee. That's your parents' narrative. That's her oh, that's that's narrative. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say it's probably her parents beating that shit. You know, because sometimes your parents, I mean. We oh, got no, I agree with that. I agree. And, then, you know, if she can, you know, want not to have that. But she makes it sound like it's her narrative, but it's not yours. It's not her narrative. No, oh. it's her parents' narrative. And, but she, I, I I agree with you, Shahida. So if you get lambasted, <laughs> we're going to take this hit together. And I'm not taking any away from anything from her I story. I completely agree with you. I, I'm, again, when, yeah, we're not taking away from their story. I think their story is a great story. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's the, it is the typical American, you know, American story, American mm-hmm. dream story. But I think that it is, I agree with you. It's not her story. Like it's not her narrative. She takes that part out. I just think you know, yeah. be a little she, bit more honest about it. Minute. You know, I was yeah. in the refugee camp. Yeah, under two, boo. Your under parents. Two. It, that's your parents, right. and two. I'm sure your parents browbeated it into you so that mm-hmm. way, when you became older and you graduate, you know that you was in high school, you got your good education, you went to college, got a good education, got a good job, so that you were never in a position to be how they were back in the day. And I and honestly, like, I've, never, I've never been without a job. I've never been without a job. She's like, okay, well, so, <laughs> He's so like, what? Calm down. okay, well, I see. Uh, good for you. And a- another thing too with um with knowing, shoot, it came right and went out my head. Damn it, can't think of it. I'm getting old, y'all. I'm getting old. <laughs> we'll join the club, honey. We right with you. <laughs> Shit. Oh, damn it. We can all when you when it comes back, yeah. just let us know. But we're gonna move on. Let's move on to Michael and Jasmina. And again, I have to say, oh, Lord. oh, oh, before we go to Michael and Jasmine, this is what I was gonna say. Go I had a feeling when Noy was talking to Steve that she was going to say you were aggressive. She used a little bit of terminology, she didn't go as far. But she started to, and I'm like, we see all of it. We saw it, th- that whole conversation. So you can't flip that. She tried to, though. And then here we go with Jasmine. And go ahead. <laughs> so all I'm going to say about Jasmine is I was all in love with her. Everybody knows it. It's, I got We all got the receipts for it. I am. Hmm. I don't I know. What like like her. I like her. She just I'm not liking her no more. And she she's needs, closed she needs off attitude adjustment. She's not there with any kind of joy at no. all. Not with him one on one. When they were at the fish store, and I mean, she just does not seem happy. She seems aloof. Like she's just, like she's just she's just there, and mm-hmm. she she doesn't exude any type of emotions any type of mannerism she's just she's at the fish market she's got that look that look on her face if she's in the house she's got that look on her face 
She got if she's at the face. housewoman, if she's at the housewoman, oh no, wait, I, let me let me backtrack. She's sitting with the sister. She went to go visit with the sister. She's got that look on her face. She went to go visit her friend that has been engaged for eight years. Hunty, I'm not asking for relationship advice if your ass has been engaged for eight straight ass years. And she sat there and was just like, but, but I remember her girl, her I respect girl called her, her out. Friend. Yep, I was going to say, I respect your friend that was married for eight, I'm not married, engaged for eight years, pulled her card and was like, but you, you know, you don't admit that you're wrong. Like, yeah, yeah, you may be wrong, but you'll never admit that you're wrong. And she's like, I do. 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 Really? You don't. She told her friend that story. And what did she leave out? She said his tone. She never said he yelled at her. She didn't like his tone. Now, I know a tone still can be aggressive, but you said it a couple of times. He yelled and he was aggressive. Two totally different things. So you changed it up a little. And then she said the same thing to his sister. And again, I listened to his, her sister, his sister describe him and complete opposite. Mm -hmm. to what Katina has said about him mm -hmm. and how he deals with when, when, when she was saying he was yelling. That's not how his sister perceives him. And that's how not how we have seen him either. So I didn't like that. So she talked about him and lying. You got you were lying too a bit. Mm -hmm. You were lying too. And on top of the fact that after this whole Alyssa Chris debacle and they pulled the receipts on Alyssa, I think at this point, if Michael had been yelling at her and acting aggressive or whatever with her as she claims he was, they'd have already pulled them receipts already. But they you pulled the receipts on her. her. You can't tell me that if he was acting this way, they don't have that on video. They would have they pulled that. the receipts on her because oh, all yeah. the little clips, she was she was bucking up on him. She yeah. was aggressive. Yeah. In every clip. So we'll see. I mean, I don't, I don't have my hopes for that. Man condescending with the Michael. Michael. I don't, I still, I don't have I, high hopes I do, for that. I do like Michael. I, I do believe that Michael is trying. That's all. In, in all of these marriages, to me. The most important. The most important thing is you got to at least try. Even yeah, if it's yeah. hard for you. Even if you don't want to. Even at least try to modify for your wife or husband try mock the shock is trying we'll get to that but everybody is trying to it most people are trying to Alyssa wasn't trying no i don't think jasmine is trying mm -mm. i don't think fucking uh who else is not trying i and think the, why i, I mean Noi was Noi's trying. Not, Noi's not trying. This episode, she's just, she's just. Mm. No, you gotta. You, that's not trying. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. Well, trying is sitting down and not walking out. Right. All the things that you don't want to do. That's one of the things I was thinking about. You know what? That's why I don't. Want, I don't want to be married because I was and like, that's why I'm not. I was like, God, I gotta do. I got. I if I'm married, I have to do this. Mm -hmm. for the marriage i have to do this mm -hmm. i have to do this if i don't want to if i don't need to but i if she annoys the hell out of me because she's doing this thing you got to get used to it you have to try to get past whatever it is so if you don't want to do that then don't be married thank you then don't or be married don't if you don't want to do that then I, don't I, be married. but this. if you're going to be married if you're going to be married you got to do what you have to do to compromise in the marriage and do things that you don't want to do for the sake of the other person and the marriage hallelujah you better preach take you better say that again to the people in the back of the church that didn't so, can't remember so, all that <laughs> when jasmina i don't feel i feel like she's kind of like how are you gonna how are you gonna i don't see her i don't ever see her i don't think she i've seen her one time do something for him what was it I don't think I've seen it. I can't oh, remember. I, it. Oh, okay. yeah, I, don't I, I don't think I've seen one time her say, you know what? I'm going to do something for my husband. No. She's always kind of, kind of like, oh, we're in this together kind of thing. You know, 
It's she. She's like two different. I mean, the first time when she came home, she went with the dog and stayed yeah, at home. Yeah, she went home. And well, at the housewarming, with- and even at the housewarming, when I thought it was like, I mean, she kind of did smile and have some fun at the housewarming. Yeah, but it was like even time. before the friends, even before the friends showed up, she had that look like he's all into it and he's making the margaritas and he, of course, he was a little heavy handed with the Tito's making in the jar with the margarita. She's just sitting there like. Attitude, like stank, and I'm like, bitch, it's margarita. One thing I noticed, your friends coming over. One thing I noticed is like when you say that he has tried, he tries to tell her stories about himself that would get a reaction from her. You know, really none. She hasn't opened up, and re- I haven't seen it. I don't know w- what it is off camera, but on camera, he tries to tell her little, little corny jokes. He did the thing with the lobster. He really tries to open up to her to, you know, to give her something of himself because he's, you know, because I think when we first all saw him, we like, oh, he's dry. You know, he has a dry kind of a deadpan sense of humor. I like that. That's fine. But you see him trying to Mm -hmm. elicit some type of laughter, some type of smile out of her. Anything, anything, any kind of reaction out of her besides stank ass. Side eyes. Yep, okay. with the lobster things he was trying, and what was she doing? She was sitting there. The, even she, the lady behind the counter was like, "Oh, what can I get you?" And she's just like, and she also kind of cuts him down a lot. Does that she make does. Sense? like like on the slow, like on on the low, kind of like, "Oh, I'm competitive, so I'm like, because I'm gonna beat your ass." Now it'd be one thing when it was like playful, "I'm gonna beat your ass," but she's like, "No, like I'm gonna have to beat your ass, so you learn." Type of. I'm like, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like that attitude that you have. I don't. I just don't like. She's not. That's my, not ladylike, and you know damn well you ain't beating his ass. So stop. I can't say nothing about ladylike. I mean, hello. <laughs> I mean, you know, same that's, here. That's, that's, that's same. Antiquated. Yeah, but, same not, here not but I also know that I ain't telling no man with all the muscles. I ain't telling no man. Period. I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, I think I said that today like three times. <laughs> So let's, you want to move on to uh, uh, next Katina and O. I have to say, I love me some Katina. Katina's my girl. That is a ride or die. She don't play. Katina's emotions are right here, right in her eyes. Katina don't play when it comes to Olajuwon. I'm still not feeling Olajuwon, but I love me some Queen Katina. How can you not feel a I mean, so, why do you not like you on that? I mean, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I still, I mean, this. Hey, don't get me wrong. I think Olajuwon has some becoming qualities, and I think there's some gen- genuineness there. I think, obviously, with his takes on Alyssa and his takes on Lindsay and Mark, he's spot on. I just think there's just something about him that I'm like, I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's that. So, uh, I don't know if, if he was. That. If he I don't was know if he an asshole, that, I don't know. He'd be more like Chris. I think he not Chris, like Chris from last season, Chris Williams. I think uh, if he was just trying to do it for whatever and get the booty and this that, and the other, he hasn't slept with her yet because he really loves. I mean, he's like, I don't want to fuck this up, a, eh? and I don't want to fuck my own head up because what he's already whipped. He or he got the you see the haircut? Oh, he looked good though. I ain't gonna see him tripping. Like, you you like you like the haircut? I the haircut. You like this baby? She's like, yes, I do. He's like, I got this for you. What else can I? He has to be that second. Once he has I don't, her, Chris, he I is have going to be. Can I say I one thing? He's going to be listen. He's going to be whipped. Can I say one thing? <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, you guys done? Can I get in here? Okay. okay. All you. All right. One. Elijah Wan has never dated a black woman. Oh, huge. well, I was waiting to get to that. Huge. That's huge. That's why when when he saw Katina open, he was like jaw dropped. I think part of the reason why, sorry, my ladies. Part of the reason why he's slow to get in the bed with her, 
he don't know if he's going to live up to any kind of expectations. And I'm not talking penis size. I'm just talking okay. the, the whole shebang. He's never been with a black woman. There's a difference. There's a difference. Yes. Yep. So I feel like part th that's partially now, and, and, and people were coming for him when he said that he like um, black women. He said uh, have never no been been to him. Yeah, yeah and they were like, he's fucking lying. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. You know, um, he's hooked. He's I, I with double like, black women. He they did say he's yes, hooked up with black women. Yes, he's, he's hooked never up with dated black, black women. women. He's just never dated a black woman. But I don't think that he's dated any. Like someone else said, I don't think he's dated I anybody. I don't think so. I, I mean, well, if I, I, I would be surprised if he really hooked up. I do all, and I felt from the very beginning that he exaggerated his prowess. I feel like no matter what, all of his stories about how how many women he's had, and you know how he's just been. I don't see you it. Can see that. I don't. I, you, I can see that, Shahida. I can see. Now, that. I don't see it in any in the way he talks. I don't see it in his actions. I don't see it how. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that you can't. Somebody can't. You can't see somebody and just be so wowed by them that you're just wide eyed like a puppy. He's like a puppy with her, like an over anxious puppy, you know. And I feel like if if you've had water before. Why are you acting like you never had fucking water before? It's water. And you're married. He's doing a lot. If I it's was in the streets like that, I'd already tap that it's, ass. It's black. It's See, black water. water. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Oh, these are just these are just saltine crackers? Mm, this is like a Ritz cracker. Look <laughs> good. I got, you a I got you a graham cracker right now. I got graham crackers right now. I, I agree with you on that thing with, the, with him maybe measuring up to the prowess type thing. But I honestly think, I honestly think he does not want to fuck up. And he has no he game. Doesn't want to fuck up. He knows it. Yeah, he knows it. He, he knows it. He, he has no game. So he might have had a lot of women, but I know somebody else that don't got any game either. And they got a lot of women. Because the, the, the women that they're getting are not expecting much from them. And it's one of those things where you just like the person that 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 wants you. I know no game, but can't talk to like you or me or definitely not yeah. not Chris's game, but don't have game. Just mm -hmm. just there. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility, but I don't believe that he. I don't believe none of hardly any of his stories. <laughs> oh, and, and one other thing about Clementine, I think the fact that when she defended, she when she defended him, I. When she defended him to her family, I loved it and was like, Hey, I've been living with this dude for two weeks. I know more who he is than you do. He may seem like she's, and the girl, his her girlfriend was shady about, she's like, I don't like him. You know, the dancing but she thing. He didn't give her like, much to like. Why did you do the dancing thing? But <laughs> she's like, He's been everything to me. He's been sweet to me and all this stuff to me. That's why she's in. Like Flynn. Pay attention to her face, though. This is why I say she's a ride or die, and that's why I love her. Even though I'm still on the fence with him. I'm kind of like 50-50 with him. But with her, like, even with her girls, like when her girls showed up and they were talking about, you know, let's talk about the, the, the garter, the garter dance. And they showed the clip, and watch Katina's face. Like at first, Katina's all like, oh, okay. And then when her friends started, like, no, that was a little over the top. And then, you know, when he says he never dated a black woman, Katina's face shifted real quick. Like she was looking at her friends, like her eyes said it all, like, bitches, you better watch your fucking tongue. Don't say shit about my man. And then she was like, He's half Irish, which again, I was kind of like, when she said that, I was like, really, well, girl? the Boston police. Thank you. I was you like, bring out your card when you get stopped. Thank you. Thank you. It's a Boston thing. Y'all wouldn't understand. So we're just like, when she said, the he's half Irish, we, I was just like, oh, really, Katina? Come on, bitch. But whatevs. I'll cut you that solid. But um, she, I like the fact, I respect her and love her for the fact that that's her man. And she is like, 
he, I, you know, with the whole Garda thing, she was like, yeah, I was over the top, but I kind of liked it. Like, she's so like, yeah, she acknowledged it. it. She right. acknowledged it, but it was like, yes, it was over the top, but I liked it. that's my man. Yes, and he does little. crazy shit like that. And he yeah. loves, he loves my dirty little. drawers. You know, I love him. I like, I, like, I like them. I really like them. I really like them. Yeah. And I really hope that they succeed. I hope they succeed. And I hope that by the end of this series that I can change my tune. And at the end, I can be like, I love me some Elijah Wong too. But right now I'm still like, mm, 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 mm. no. But so what, 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 is the, what is the uh -uh that you have? Why, why, what's the... What don't you like about him? Why are you? Not, I you just don't like his mouth. Like he's just all about. He I, like you said. I call you my sister-in-law's names, Alicia Shahida. Um, he talks too damn much. He talks too much. And does nothing. He's totally wrong, bro. That's, a, that's no reflection I on his. Think, I didn't even relationship. Think exaggeration part, Shahida. I, I never, it never clicked in my head that he could possibly be exaggerating all of these stories never clicked in my head but he could be but if he's not then he needs to shut his mouth because we don't you're married now and don't nobody want to hear about your escapades from a year ago or a week or two weeks ago i and i'd like to that at the bowling alley when she started with um lindsay because i really thought katina Get it. You want to roll your eyes. I would be rolling my eyes too. All but you day. didn't have to say what you said. You could have just been like when Lindsay did the same thing to to what's her name? Alec Alyssa last week. And she's just like, I'm just eating my food. You could have just I'm just sipping my drink. You made it, both of them made it uncomfortable for everyone, but you could see Elijah trying to talk her down. Mm -hmm. You know, so and then there was times when you seen her trying to talk him down. So they they are a team, you know yeah. what I mean? And, That's and what I works. really like about them. Huh? And they listen to each other because mm -hmm. unlike Lynn, and we'll get to Lindsay and Mark next, but unlike Lindsay and Mark, when Katina said that shit to Lindsay to Lindsay, Elijah kind of gave her that look. And what did she do? Oh, she didn't say a lot of words. Yep, she didn't say another word, and she, you know, and she didn't get in his ass afterwards. Unlike, mm -hmm. let's just transition over to Lindsay and Mark. Listen, like I put on Twitter, my late grandmother, God rest her soul, always used to say, "Drunk people speak the goddamn truth," and oh, that bitch the truth. cuts to the core. When do you th when do you think he's gonna have sex with Calcutta? When is he gonna have what? Have sex with Calcutta. <laughs> when, when he's you think already he's gonna like you fucking when do you think, <laughs> when do you think he's gonna have sex with her? I think probably the next by by the next um episode. Who are you talking about? Oh, Calcutta. Oh, you talk, you got me all confused. I'm like, who the hell's Calcutta? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think next, I think, well, then again, I saw the previews and they didn't look really good. So yeah. I could have went Did you see, did you see the previews? Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw the, the whole, previews. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in the previews. I don't yeah. know, a whole lot so, of stuff. I, it's like this I, I hope that they have sex soon. They have to. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm really interested to see what the relationship is going to be like when they have sex. I'm really, I'm really interesting what the dynamic is going to be. Is he going to be less? I don't know. I don't know. Is he going to be more? He is, or but is I don't think be more he like will okay. Be. Now that we're, I don't, I don't know what. Or maybe they've had sex between this past episode and next week's episode, and that's why next week's um, previews when he. I don't want to blow for anybody, but well, everybody done seen it. Next week's previews when he questions her womanhood. That's all I'm saying. I don't yeah, think that has to do you with never, You can never sex. tell that those, those previews, they Well, you they can't. Things, you know, yeah, you I, can't, I, I never can't. thought about sure. sex with you that. Can't. I thought it had to do with like something domestic. Yeah, something something along the line. <laughs> cooking. Well, you know, sex is a little domestic too. So I mean, uh, well, it could be like, uh, well, we don't know. We don't know until, but we don't yes. know. I feel you. But now, we'll see. We 
Let's save the best for last, Lord Jesus. Who oh, ain't, ain't nobody rushing to start I, this I, one. I will, I will start. <laughs> He's a mess. Go, <laughs> Shahida. Go ahead. <laughs> one. Okay. I understand how she felt initially when he said to her, don't do this. You know, like when, when somebody publicly, you know, kind of calls you out, it hurts. And you do get a little bit like defensive. So I get it. I get it, Lindsay. Too fucking grown to go to the next step. Both of them, I don't know, I'm not going to put Mark in there. She, she, when she asked him, who are you here for? And he said, you know, um, you, that's what I'm just telling you. I don't like when you do that. Lindsay, listen, this is what Pastor Cal said to you last week, that you don't listen. You don't hear him or you don't want to hear him because at that time, drinking, drinking too much, you drinking too much. And then you let that overcower you. Now, when you start going into the gutter, I don't know how Mark comes back into these relationships because she takes it into the gutter. She called him little balls. She hadn't had an orgasm. Take your little 060K. I mean, she emasculated this man. And go, go call oh, your mother and tell her you house. need a place to stay and roach infested house. That bitch is diabolical. There is no coming back from that for me. I don't, and when I saw in the preview that they were sitting down and a having boat? a lovey in a dovey boat? dinner in a and boat? on the boat. And a what? Paddle boating. You're in a boat. They were paddle boating. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't Mark, how Mark, because you know, I mean, and, and, and her father and her brother were so clear. So clear. Grabbing, her a, mouth. grabbing a crocodile by the tail. Everybody has said it, even at the housewarming. Did you not see it when he, Mark, was sitting with her two friends and he was trying to, he was saying it with the most kid gloves ever. I just need to know how I, I need to, and her friend, her friend said, oh, so you want to know how to reel her in? And he's mm -hmm. like, well, yeah, because it's just too much. This is not the first, this is like the third time. One time you can show your whole ass and try to cut me down, but she's doing this shit. Look, I get it. They all signed up to be on TV and do this show. That's one thing. But what Mark didn't sign up for is for wow. her intoxicated, drunken, just inebriated friggin' belligerent ass to be in a bathroom and friggin' putting his business in the street. That is just disrespectful. I don't know how, I don't know how he, we move on to the previews and he's all kissing her and lovey-dovey with her. I no, nah, I'm good. Is this, not, is this the third time? Yeah. This is like the third time she's done that okay. shit to him. What's interesting about her to me is she's sabotaging it and seeing how far she can sabotage it to blow it up to yep. see if he's still going to be there. It's the yep. test, the test, the test, the test to see if he's still going to be there. And she's like, oh my God, she was awful oh my god he went oh, in oh, and on the after show on the after party they uh rudy huxtable asked chris about chris about it and chris chris did not hold back he was like this is this is what it is this is who she is and how i know that he's like because i'm always the first call from both of them so when they act up when she acts up Mark is calling Chris and then she's calling Chris. He's like, I get calls from both of them at the same time, wanting to talk, wanting me to talk them off the ledge. Like Chris ain't got enough drama in his life that he just went through. He gonna deal with your bullshit. 
Mark, ne listen, I'm sorry. If I was a member of Mark's family. Thousand dollars doing, what, what does he do? Selling gym equipment. Like, like he was a gym bum. Membership. Gym membership. Like he was a bum. And that's how you truly feel. I mean, yeah. that's how for me, that's how you truly feel. If you if because she's too coward to say that shit sober. So she gonna get all lick it up as a person who has a drink. I'll be the first one to say she's the she gets her drink in her and she gets the liquid courage in her and she feels that she could just say whatever she wants, and then she's gonna probably go back and cry and apologize and get 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 and that's why they're back at this hence next week but i think they did she go off her. on him one time and she was sober so i think she's, it, I mean, on everybody. she's probably always drunk though and we just don't see it right she, she is a, she is. is a quintessential karen she but, is a fucking karen for real but she don't give a fuck though well karen everybody else is like you know, you know, they look at me that you know, whatever. She's like, I don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck about Karen, what other people think of her. Fuck. Of what her husband thinks of her, she don't give a fuck. I don't know who can deal with her ass. No. Let me say this. She strikes me as the type of person she's been everybody treats her with kid gloves, her father, her brother, her friends, her co-workers, whoever the hell's around her knows who how she is. And they treat her with kid gloves and they don't fuck with her. I tell you one thing, I bet if one of her friends or family members busted her fucking teeth down her goddamn throat and went ham on her ass, she would, she'd think twice before she opened her mouth to say some sideways shit to them. I bet if Katina lunged over that table and throat punched her ass, she wouldn't even look at Katina anymore. She'd probably be like, can we sit down and have, you know, get the, get the experts in and just have a come to Jesus? No, that's what that I don't, I don't think so. I think that her personality, that she has had conflict all her life. That's what she's yeah. used to. And she she's okay with that. I'm pretty sure there have been people who have come for her and be like, look, you're not going to talk to me this way. And they've gone back and forth. She like, like you both said, she don't care. She don't well, care. Like, and like even if you were week. to haul off and, and, and hit her physically, she doesn't care that yeah. it's, she needs, she needs, um, I was going to say triple A. She needs AA. <laughs> yeah. She needs therapy. Yeah, she does not need a marriage. I don't know how what the expert saw in her. She was the I wild card, remember? But if there's know. someone that's gonna have to, she needs someone with extreme patience, and I guess that's Mock. I mean, uh, I feel bad for Mock. Another thing is, if she had someone, either someone who is extremely patient or someone who's like, Lindsay, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? And she's I like, you "Well, you can't." Be saying that to her. But, but I'm saying, if she had an alpha, or either she needs someone who's gonna be extremely patient, okay, or someone you. who's like, Lindsay, you mouth off like that again, I'm gonna pop you. In the, I'm not gonna pop you in the mouth, that's but, exactly what but she something needs. not figuratively, like, or I'm, you're not getting this dick anymore, or something where where she is like, oh, oh okay, 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 because she doesn't respect Mock at all. She doesn't None. respect. She needs someone who's gonna come over the top who she's gonna be like, oh, I don't want to fuck with him. Like you said it, you said it right the first time when you said Lindsay, shut the fuck up. Because if you the way you said it, just as you said it, with the face and the tone, she wouldn't have but she would have sat there, shut her fucking mouth, and drank her goddamn beer into oblivion. She just like when she did, like, like she did with when when you know when she when Alyssa was there and she was talking like that. And she could, but with that same attitude of someone say, not be there for you, be like, don't, don't do it again. He's like, Lindsay, I wish you would, I wish you would stop doing that kind of stuff. You know, it really, you know, I don't, I can't deal with you. This and thing. If he was like, Lindsay, don't do that shit again. If you do that shit again, I'm fucking leaving you. Or, mm -hmm. or, and have that. Oh God, she was mm -hmm. so, she put the knife in him and she twisted it and put mm -hmm. salt in it. And, and like, then spit and, on and it, and then it. spit on it, and then exactly, and then peed on him, and then just fucking mm, shit it on him. She put the final friggin' fudge topping on top and shit it on him. Patrice, Patrice O'Neill, 
the comedian from Boston. Oh, Patricia, I know. Patricia Neal said, Patrice. could you imagine if women, uh, he said, because men have a, a, a visual receipt when they come. You know, like you can say, oh, there you go. You know, he, oh, yeah, another on it. He's like, could you imagine if, a, he said, could you imagine if a woman had that? He's like, put a couple of eggs on his face. Oh, how could, what the? he's like, hey, uh, take that bitch. <laughs> couple <laughs> eggs on yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Take that. Yeah, yeah, I nut it on his face. Yeah. Oh, oh why are you gonna nut on my face? Why are you gonna get in my eyes? Yeah, <laughs> shut up, bitch. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> That's exactly what she would have done. She'd have like stepped over him and then, and then, anyway. I just, yeah, I, I agree in that. I think, I, I don't know, Shahida. I, I don't know if she she knows who she can get away with. She can get that shit away with. Um, I don't think she gives a fuck. I really don't. No. She's that, well, she, she probably, it because like I said, she wears it like last week. She wears that shit like exactly. a, a bad honor. Like when Pastor Cal got on her ass and she was like. <gasps> and if they weren't holding it, if, if there weren't other people there, her and Katina probably would have definitely went at it, but they were other people like you know, Elijah on like it's not worth it, calm down, or whatever. I don't know yeah. what he said to her or whatever. And Mark going over to her and saying, you know, you know, stop. And then her whole thing is like, I always address things as they come up. And oh, well, she called him weak. Yeah. Well, he well, I mean, he's listen, he's letting her walk all over him and treat him like the weak man that he is. So I don't think she, he's, she spent some things there. There's a fine, okay, one, he doesn't know her 100%, but there's a fine line. Like, like I know you all would be like, you know, tell her, shut the fuck up. Oh, God. Um, he just took my clothes, but anyway. <laughs> I, thought he was, I thought he was doing something else. <laughs> uh, oh, that's your real. Give me that. Um, I, 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 there's, I feel like he's in a predicament in a situation where she's too new. He doesn't really want to make a situation 10 times worse. So he's trying to find a way to communicate with her respectfully. And I respect that right. because I don't like people cursing at me in anger. You know what I'm saying? And I know no, it just makes the situation 10 times worse. So if I curse at you and I'm angry about it, it's 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 going to be it's going to be a ten times it's going to be ten times worse than if you just said you know look I'm pissed I'm mad about X Y and Z or whatever. But if you're like you know yeah. you, know, you fucking piss me off and then the whole tone tone changes. I don't think he's weak. I just think he's just trying his best to stay yeah. as level headed and respectful as he possibly can. And he wants he this because again. That. Yeah, and he wants this because again, he was here. I don't know if he wants it with her ago. anymore. I don't well, know not with it. her, but he want he wants to be married and he wants yeah. to be in a relationship he like this. He does give her credit, is what I'm saying. He does give her credit for being there or helping this and the other. Right. But he he needs to, along those lines, yes, I agree with you. Along those lines, he needs to say, you know, enough is enough. Yeah. That's when he needs at at some point. He needs to say, I'm gone and enough is enough and, and be really gone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. say, you know, if you don't want to be married to me, fine. But don't you ever disrespect me like that in public again. Period. Thank you. Don't you that ever do that be, again. That needs to be addressed. Uh -huh. Because if, if next week's episode comes and that shit isn't, he doesn't, he doesn't have that come to Jesus with her about that bullshit how she just literally, she literally emasculated this man on national TV. It was balls. Just right. Balls, she emasculated yeah. this man as he's sitting on a staircase with Chris talking. To, and here's her. Oh, is that her yelling? And Chris is like, yeah. And he's just sitting there. I'm like, bro, he needs to address that. I will lose all respect for Mark next week if that shit is not addressed if he doesn't it, it, i don't want to get i don't want to see this shit of her having that meltdown and emasculating him and then next week's episode 
starts and they're friggin' riding swan boats or whatever the fuck, driving go-karts and eating sushi and kissing. No. I can't look at I, and the fact, no, I'm sorry. I can't even say no more about that. But I, I've, I've been there. Yeah, I was, I was I told that feel. from a man that I've been with for 15, 20 years, let alone some motherfucker that I just married two weeks ago. Fuck that shit. Sorry, Shahida, I'm not swearing at you. I'm just swearing. I mean, I I understand that I've just been there swearing. when I when I was when I was like 30, I was I was in Mark's position and I she ran right over me. I did, had no I was trying so hard to be nice and understanding and this that, and the other. But there comes a point where you go like, you know what? Don't ever do that shit to me again. Period. Don't do that shit to me again. Otherwise, you know, it's not even a threat. It's just like, I'm not going to take it. Go ahead, Sheila. I'm not blaming him, but he was a little bit wrong too. First of all, if you were go if you were going to reprimand her and he and he needed to say something to her, Lindsay, come over here, let me have a word with you. Not in front of everybody. But she, but, she, take but she, it. I don't know if that would that would have worked with her because he's like it, it, it to her so it many probably times. It wouldn't work. It probably wouldn't work. Uh, it probably wouldn't get through her head, but yet and still, that's your marriage. Why? I don't believe in like public arguments. Take me aside, and then we might have an argument right there in that space, but it's not in front of everybody. You're not human. She was humiliated too. Yeah, or, I think, I or think even better, grab my knee. Like we're sitting right next to each other. Like if I'd have said some shit, out of pocket in public that you didn't agree with, or you knew I was about to go left, you could have easily just reached over, grabbed my hand, grabbed my arm, you know, put your hand on my leg and like gave me a firm little squeeze. That way I would have known, okay, I'm going, let me, let me tighten up. But I yeah, don't but know. She has the very I don't know. I don't know about because she would or she was already chirping a little bit, and he mm -hmm. said, please don't do that. And he walked away because they're about to go bowling again. I think he was just hoping that that one little thing is like, please don't do that. And then she went, I don't get it. I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So she doesn't, I, she yeah. don't pick up on clues. She doesn't read the room. She no. doesn't pick up on clues. That's why I'm saying take yeah. her away from, you know, everyone else because she already is, she's already belligerent at that point. And she's been drinking. He's drinking and water. Why does he want to do? Why does anybody want to deal with that? She's not noy. She's not like 22, 23. She is a middle aged woman. How old is she? She's 42. She's like, I think, she she's late, I think she's uh, late 30s. I think she's like 35, 36. Okay, so I, I exaggerated. But she knows better. Whether she's, I think she's close to 40. But at the end of the day, you should know better. You are not in your 20s, ma'am. You are you know a she is. full grown ass woman. You know what? She is. She is the poster child, probably her whole entire life, of when keeping it real goes wrong. Goes wrong. 34. So she's, she's, she's only 34. She's in her 30s. So she should know better. But well, like, she again, look, well, I'm sorry. I hate, I hate to I hate to be disrespectful. So she Ooh. might know better to to some extent, but she has other issues going on. And I feel like the alcohol is her biggest problem. And I don't again, like we've been saying from the get-go, a lot of these people needed to be vetted a little bit better. Like Lindsay should have never been allowed to be on there. She clearly has issues and needs to deal with them, with her mom and her Did whatever. they talk to her father and brother? I don't know. I mean, Another the same thing. Is, I mean, Alyssa that, is a whole fraud. She's, she's inappropriate sexually, too, in yes. front of other people, too. So she has no filter. None. None. So she was inappropriately sexually being like, oh, yeah, because they they showed clips of her. They showed the oh, clips wedding. of the wedding. And I, I totally I totally forgot all that when they when he was like, Oh, the ring doesn't fit. And she's like, I like the pain. Yeah, I, don't, I, 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 like, I, like, I like, like the pain or whatever she said. Something about it hard. Push it hard. Yeah, that's but that's why he needs to be like, he needs to shut that down. I don't think he has the balls to shut it down. I hate to say it, 
I don't and I hate, I hate to I hate to emasculate him like Lindsay did, but I don't think he has it in him to shut her down. I think he's going to get to the point where it's it, it, he's not going to be able to shut her down. He's just going to walk away. Yeah. Or he's not. Think, or he's going to wait until decision day and say I, he's going to pull like a friggin um all the receipts. Oh he, yeah, they're going to pull, pull all the receipts. I can't deal yeah. with this shit. And just like you said, you know. Pass the cow. He's not there every single day. Yeah, you can come That's in right. real quick and give this little advice, but you're not here with her every single day. Call and just her, like her friends, call. just like her friend said, he's scared, or, or his friends said he's scared of her. Like his friend that he was playing um baseball with uh -huh. in the oh, beginning yeah. when he was talking to him, and he was like, and shout out to his friend rocking the Brockton Brockton uh t-shirt. Hey Brockton, that's where I live. Sorry, um, called him a pathetic loser. His friends, it's like everything him. that she could dig up, she dug everything. it, threw it out there. I wore a hazmat suit. So what, bitch? So what? Took the day off of work. And took, a, and took a day off of work. Yep. Right. She just, she just got her. She's very, very good. At. I can't fuck with people like that. Call that are gonna let you in tonight. Huh? And you know, he said, have another drink. Oh, Mike said that. Oh, Mark, no, Mark, no, Mark, uh, Mark said, have, have, another, have drink. another drink. Yeah. And you see, she sat there. You see, she got all flustered after that. Like she sat there and it registered in her head like, oh, shit. He needs to do more of that. That's when her ass got up and went in that bathroom because she I think she felt a little shame because he's when she said, go to go go call your mother and tell her you need a bed, a place to stay tonight, knowing damn well. See, that is where I draw the line. You don't bring up. You can cut me down to the knees and emasculate me or disrespect me all you want. Don't bring my disabled mom, my sick mother, who you already know ain't living at home and is living in a rehab. And you um, make that kind of sideways comment like, call your mother and tell her you need a place to stay tonight. We all knew what she meant by that bullshit. I would have turned around. Mark's a better person than me. <laughs> if that was me, I'd have turned around and I'd have punched that bitch right in her throat. Said, I'm done because my husband is a fucking idiot. Like, I'm sorry you're not a strong man and you can't, like, fucking idiot. I'm sorry you're not a strong man and you can't speak up right now because your life is a fucking crisis. But I'm accepting you for all of your fucking flaws and not once are you congratulating or congratulating or thanking me. I mean, real talk, he makes 60 grand a year selling gym memberships. Okay, simmer down. All right, little boy, let me teach you how to be a big, badass bitch. I hate my husband. I'm sick of dealing with his bullshit. He is a pathetic loser. I'm all in until I'm out. And then when I'm out, you never get me back. Who wants you back? <laughs> she said, I ain't gonna be Alyssa. All I need is an orgasm. He was like, I wanna pull it back. I'm not emotional right now. And I'm like, why? Because you got small balls? I don't see him uh, see him right now as good. Who I'm gonna go to South back to South Boston where I had a good life and ha and have fun. I don't need you. Where are you going back with your mama? Oof, that's well, too. We, that's, we, that's like ten. That's like ten things. Thank you. That's why I'm that saying what, if they a don't man, address man. this shit. That's why I'm saying if they she spewed a whole lifetime of fuckery out there. That's what I'm saying. If they don't address that bullshit next week and they just start off where they're going and they're having their dates and shit, I'm done. I can't with these motherfuckers. I, I, listening, seeing her and Noi and Jasmina and Alyssa, I mean, none of the women except for Katina and I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm still holding up. And like I said, Katina does things that's, you know, like that whole thing there. That, well, that's a little immature thing, but a big deal. It's not a big, but with her husband, there's nothing but respect and love right there. That's right. right. I don't see that from any of the other the couples because it's not even respect when you walk out the door and Ooh. don't tell somebody where you're going and then mm -hmm. it, just straight fuckery. Um, um, Jasmina leaving, the, you know, I got to take care of my dog, you know, for a couple of days. No respect for the marriage, the man, nothing. These women are, they didn't bring Boston's best. 
No, they, they sure as hell didn't. Didn't vest at all. They sure as hell didn't. We got one. That's it. One there. That's it. And that, you know, who knows? You know, again, with each ep with each week, shit could change. It's weirder and weirder and weirder. It's, but it's, 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 it's the show is fascinating to me to see the inner workings of and I don't know if it's just our generation, I'm not our generation, but society is now where everybody's so self-involved that there can be no there can be no successful relationships if unless you're willing to you gotta have no ego. You gotta have no ego. And I think society is built on such ego now and yeah. getting what I can get for me and what else are you gonna get? That I don't, that's why these things don't, uh, you know. And, and, and people don't know their roles no more. Like, and I, I hate to say that, but people don't know their roles no more. You have a generation. I mean, we're successful people. We have our careers. But there's a whole generation of people out there that they just don't. They're successful doing their thing, but they don't know their roles when it comes to relationships. Yeah. I mean, they may know their roles. They just don't want to participate. I Nope. I got my job. I'm making my money. I ain't doing this. I ain't doing that. You do your boo-boo. We're going to live together. You do you. I'm going to do me. That's not, it's, shit's never going to work. I don't get it. And that's why I'm single. And that's why I'm retired from the dating game. I'm good. Because I wish a motherfucker would. That's all I'm saying. And I'm going to end it on that. She said, I wish it was a good episode, though. It oh, was, it was good. It was a juicy episode. I can't wait for next week. Mm -hmm. So, all right, guys. Well, listen, it's been real. Ow, 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 ow. This, this damn dog. Join us next week, because next week better be good. And I'm going to need Mark to address that shit and grow his little balls. Back. I think he will. I mean, I don't think he's ever shied away from saying something to her about her behavior but i just think that was bad timing it blew, you know it, it it blew up for no reason but i think he will say something to her it's not gonna make a difference Woo! stop he's agreeing with you yeah that's right, right. i think he Go wants me to doggy. doggy's Man. like all right all for right. the people in the back of the church all right people we'll see y'all next week do 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 do